Are there styles you don't like to wear? I'm Sheila, I'm a personal stylist, and I help women find the best styles to suit their body shape, their personality, and their coloring so they can dress well with ease. For the best style tips, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, and you will be notified every Tuesday when I upload a new video. So today I'm going to talk about those seven styles that I don't like to wear and then I'm going to tell you why I don't like to wear them and how this fits into your style. So hopefully after you've listened to my reasoning about why I don't like to wear things, you might get some insight into why you don't like to wear certain things and that could help you and I hope it will help you find your style more easily. And if not find your style, find the things that you really love to wear. When you find styles that you really love to wear, dressing is so much easier and so much more fun. So let's get started. That first thing that I do not like to wear, I don't know if I'd call it a style, it's plaid, plaid shirts. Now I do like plaid skirts, plaid jackets, but I don't like plaid shirts. It's more of a casual look and I'm not casual. So when I wear plaid, uh, I don't feel good. When you're shopping or online looking at styles or even when you see women who are looking really good and really pulled together and then you try that style, if that style isn't feeling good for you, it isn't your style. Here's how you might end up wearing a style that's not really suited for you. And that is looking at someone who looks like they're all put together, who looks great to you, and not really taking into consideration that it's their style. So when they're wearing the style that suits them, they're wearing colors that suit them and it suits their body shape, they will look great. But since we're all different, we're all unique, when we put those same things on, we might not look the same. And you might want to go to my website and I'll put the link down below and you will find my archetypes, my style archetypes. Each one is described and it will give you an idea of where you might fit. The second thing I don't like to wear is white button down shirts, cotton ones. Now I do have one that's silk and that one I do like, even though it is more comfortable and I like it. I still don't wear it a lot and I only wear it under things. I don't wear it on its own. So the reason I don't like it again is because it is not my style. It's more conservative and uh, conservative Connie is more structured and I really don't like a lot of structure. And when I talk about structure, I don't mean fitting as in structure, but I guess it's just that button stuff. I really don't like that. So, or I don't like it for me. So I don't wear cotton shirts. The other thing I don't like about them is the material. I find it stiff. Anything that's stiff on my body, I don't like. So uh, if it's a little lighter material, it's better. But if it's stiff, I don't like it. Now I will wear it to demonstrate for videos, <laughs> but uh, as a rule, I don't wear those kinds of shirts. Number three, leggings. I don't wear leggings because, again, same reason, doesn't fit my style personality. Leggings I find are very casual and even if I try to dress them up, I don't really feel dressed up enough. And for some people, I know lots of you love leggings and I know a lot of people do, but for me, it doesn't fit. And if I get into a situation where it's comfortable for me and I need to wear leggings or like wearing leggings is a good thing for me. I, I'll try it and I do my best, but I don't really like them. And I'm sure you've seen leggings on people that looks really good and it also can look really bad. So you have to be careful as with anything, how you style it and make sure that it fits your body proportions. The fourth thing, big clunky shoes like Uggs, or Crocs. Now I have seen Uggs styled nicely and it can look good, but Crocs I've never seen look good. So there are comfortable shoes you can wear if you have feet that needs to be taken care of. A Crocs wouldn't be the thing for me. Again, the reason these things don't fit into my style personality is because they're more casual and they're clunky 
and that's not part of my, my style personality. If it's yours, that's great. The fifth thing that I don't wear is a hat. And I don't wear a hat because I haven't found one that really looks good on me. And to be honest, I haven't really looked. I love hats on women and I think a hat really pulls a look together. But I haven't found that great hat yet and maybe I should start looking for one. Hats look good depending on how well they blend with your face shape. One of the face shapes that can wear any style hat is, is the oval shape face. Next up is the button-down sweater. Again, this sweater is very much conservative, or I feel like a conservative look with it. It isn't flowing, it's kind of straight, and I don't feel comfortable in it. So I don't matter what I'm wearing, if I put that sweater on or a sweater on that's like that, it makes me feel frumpy. And I don't like to feel frumpy. So that one doesn't really suit my personality either. So that's why I don't wear it. If a button-down sweater suits your personality, it will be a great addition to your wardrobe because it's like a jacket. Uh, it can expand your wardrobe, especially one in a neutral color. Next on my list is a turtleneck. Now, I don't think I've owned a turtleneck for probably 15 years, and I don't really find them comfortable. Again, they are more casual. I don't really like a casual look. And that is most of the reason, but then as I get older, I don't find that the turtleneck really is great for my face shape. So it adds age or draws attention to my agingness. So I stay away from turtlenecks, but I have seen older women wearing turtlenecks and it looks really good on them. And if you like to keep warm, it is a great look. And again, it can be a great addition to your wardrobe to help you stretch your wardrobe. The next one is black. I don't wear black because black does not look good against my face. And black will make dark circles and creases and lines show up more the older you get. So since I turned 50, I guess, maybe 55, I've stopped, I started getting rid of black from my wardrobe. Now, I still do have black, but when I wear it, I don't wear it near my face. I wear a, a scarf around or a different um, color sweater if I'm wearing a jacket that's black, so I don't keep black near my face. And whether or not black looks good on you depends on your coloring as well. Generally speaking, over 50, black is not good to have near your face, but there are exceptions. There are exceptions to everything. Depending on your skin coloring, black might be okay against your skin, but I would be very hesitant to wear it uh, over 50. There are so many nice, vibrant colors you can wear, and a wardrobe looks so much more fun and feels more fun when there's color. There are two pitfalls that can keep you from your perfect style. One is following trends, and what I mean by this, so let's say that a certain jacket is trending right now. It's a long jacket, and it has large shoulder pads. Now, if you're a person who follows trends, you're going to run out and buy one of those or buy more than one of those. But if your body shape and your structure doesn't suit that or it doesn't suit you, they don't go together, it won't look good on you. So even though you're wearing something fashionable and trending, it won't make you look stylish and you won't have great style because for one thing, if it's something that's just a flash, it won't last long and you'll end up with a lot of pieces that just don't work in your wardrobe. But if it's that one thing that doesn't suit you, it's not gonna make you look better and it's not good for your style. For every piece, or for a jacket, pants, skirts, dresses, there are so many different shapes. And to look stylish, the objective is to find the shapes that suit your body type. So if all the pants shapes there are, like there's different, there's wide leg, there's flared leg, there's straight leg, there's high waist, there's uh, mid rise. The thing is to find the one that suits you. If you follow trends and you buy the one that's stylish and say, well, this one's not stylish now, I can't wear that. Well, that might be the one that suits your body shape. There will always be little changes, but when you stick to classics, you can stay in style and you will look better and you'll feel better. 
It's when you follow trends and you say, well, I can't wear this because it's not stylish or this is too short or that's too long because it's not the style right now. <laughs> You're missing the boat and you also will be missing your style. So find your style personality, find a style that suit your body shape. So whether it's a flare skirt, a pencil skirt, a, sh a knee length skirt, a mid skirt, whatever the length is, same for pants, jackets, tops. Find the styles that suit you and then you will feel a lot better in your dressing. And then when it comes to pieces that suit you or don't really feel good because of the personality of it, the style personality, well now you're, you're getting closer and closer to your style. If you want to learn more about your style personality, you can check out this video right here or you can check out this video right here. I'm big on style personalities and I think that when you know your style personality and your body shape, dressing will be so much easier. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and keep on styling.